हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे विल सी करंट सिनेरियो इन इंडियन ऑटो इंडस्ट्री वी नो दैट इंडिया हैव मेजर इंडस्ट्रियल सेक्टर व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू ऑटोमोबाइल इंडस्ट्री इन करंट सिनेरियो इंडिया इज द लार्जेस्ट tractor manufacturer then two wheeler manufacturer and three wheeler manufacturer in world so these industries which is having number one in all over world if we see bus manufacturing then india having second largest bus manufacturer in world if we consider the heavy truck manufacturer india is having third manufacturer in world and in case of car manufacturer if we compare other countries then india has fourth position in world if we see indian automobile industry overall industry then india has fourth position and nearly in 2026 india will be the world's third largest automobile manufacturer in world if we compare our gdp then in from the automobile industry india having the gdp of 7.1% contribution from this automobile industry and if we see the employment then 35 million people working in automobile industry so if we compare all these then india having the major automobile contribution in our gdp as well as it contributes in our employment also okay so next if we continue currently india has 48 automobile companies in uh, all over the states okay in all over india we have 48 automobile companies like if we consider uh, in maharashtra then uh, tata motors is a big name and mahindra and mahindra then uh, different foreign companies are also there like ford okay then general motors like this then 12 two wheeler companies are there if we consider uh, two wheeler manufacturers then bajaj is the big name okay so they manufacture uh, two wheelers now mahindra and mahindra also launch two wheelers uh, soon then next more than 747 auto components manufacturer if we consider different components manufacture uh, that is different vehicle components are there and uh, in all over the india 747 registered companies are there who manufacture the different components of automobile if we consider the history of automobile sector in india so before the independence that is before 1947 our first indian company that is hindustan motors uh, who sets their company in the year of 1942 before 1942 some foreign com companies are also there in india but from the origin of india hindustan motors who set first plant in india in 1942 okay after that premier set his company in 
and Mahindra and Mahindra who enters in this sector in 1945. But what happened in the year of 1947? India got independence and after the independence, India uh, take the policies like socialist policy. In case of socialist policy, all over the control of all sectors which is in the hand of government. Okay. And after this independence, the foreign companies who already work in India, okay, and who uh, shut down the plants from the India, okay, and up till 1991, no foreign companies are coming in India for sale his plants. But in 1991, economical crisis takes place in India. But in 1991, government take the decision about liberalization, privatization and globalization. And through this liberalization, foreign industries get opportunity to enter in India again. So, it opens the opportunity in Indian market for world. So, foreign companies came in India and merged with Indian companies. Okay. So, they use their technology, advanced technology and they set the plants in India along with Indian manufacturer. For example, if we take the example of Maruti Suzuki. This Maruti, which is the Indian manufacturer, and Suzuki is the Japanese manufacturer who come here and set the plans of vehicle manufacturing in collaboration with India. Like Hero Honda is again one of the Indian automobile manufacturer, sorry, automobile manufacturer company. So Hero and Honda, one company is Indian and one company is foreign company who came together and make the plans. Now currently these two companies are separated. Foreign direct investment, okay, if we consider the FDI in a global sector, here after this 1991, we are getting the economical growth in this sector. So they are about 24.5 billion dollars we are getting from the foreign countries in India. If we see the scenario in last 5 years, then Indian automobile export increases up to 6.94%. If we see these numbers in millions, so in the year of, that is 2017, in the financial year of 2017, uh, the Indian, that is export, automobile export is 3.48 million, but if we see in financial year 18, the export becomes 4.04 million. If we see 2019, the growth is export is 4.63. In the year of 2020, the export of automobile becomes 4.77. So, if we compare all these years, the growth rate gets gradually increases. Okay. So, in India, this sector is growing sector. I already explained at the uh, starting that India is fourth largest automobile sector in the world. But the prediction is that up to 2026, Indian automobile market becomes the third largest automobile manufacturer in the world. Now, as automobiles are there, it creates some pollutions. And for that, for controlling the pollution, India sets some norms 
in the year of 2000 they create the Bharat stages for controlling the automobile pollution. So in the year of 2000 they set the Bharat stage norms. If we see the year 2020 for that is from 1st April 2020 India decided to move from Bharat stage 4 up to Bharat stage 6. Okay, so that Indian automobile sector also watch on the pollution control. So this is about the current scenario in Indian auto industry. So we stop here. Thank you.